Good afternoon, everybody. Ladies. So this afternoon, what I want to talk about real quick, I just want to jump on and give you guys three tips for, for shifting your negative self-talk. So this was, um, well, I posted a couple weeks ago about what what fogs your from what keeps you from seeing things clearly and it was like a graphic because I was I'm trying to to figure out what what it is that keeps you guys from thinking clearly like where is it that you struggle the most when it comes to achieving different results in your life okay or feeling better get, being in a more um high vibe state raising your energy level and one of them was from Heather, which I'm going to invite her on here right now, that she said negative, negative self-talk. And so that's what I'm going to talk about for the minute. I'm just going to try to make this like 10 minutes, <laughs> I swear. And what I'm going to give you guys are just some, some things you guys can do to when you, when those negative self, when those negative thoughts come in and what it is, it's not negative thoughts, it's negative self-talk. So like when you, when something messes up or for example, if you don't get a job, if you went to get, do, get a job and you didn't get the job and then you just start having this negative self-talk of like, well, I wasn't good enough anyway, or, you know, I, I should have known better than to try, or you just start to beat yourself up because you didn't, because the other person, the, the um, boss did not hire you or whatever. And that was somebody else's action. And so for me, I, and I've been sitting here watching like Tony Robbins and I looked at my NLP stuff and I'm just coming back to my experience with this. This is what I did. So for me, what the, the biggest thing that helped me was the mindset shift of we are not our thoughts. That's my number one like tip for, for the first thing is to really focus on the fact of that our thoughts, our emotions, all of that, none of that defines us. Um, even, I can even go so far as to some people say, you know, I've even said it on here, I think, to say I am statements or, you know, I am beautiful, I am a good mom, I am, I am, I am. And now my view on that has shifted a little bit because <laughs> when we tell ourselves that we are, when you say I am a good mom, okay, and then you, you know, say you have a baby, and this isn't just an uh, example that I heard of the other day, of like if you go to change your baby's diaper and you, there's no diapers there, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh my gosh, I'm not a good mom. I, I, I suck as a mom. And you go back to that negative thinking, okay? So there's nothing there for you to, to, to waver back and forth. But if you, if you say your words differently, if you if you say I am the best mom I can be with what I have, okay, we are, we are all doing the best that we can all the time. So if you can word it that way, of like I am the best mom I can be, or I'm capable of being, or I am doing the best I can as a mom, and just knowing that you're always doing the best you can. So that's the first thing is to separate yourself, separate yourself from the thought, and you do this through meditation. So if you haven't picked up meditation yet, it's okay. You can start doing it today. Um, you're doing it. You just don't realize you're doing it. And once you begin to know, once you start knowing that you're meditating and you know what you're doing, your life is just, it's just like, it's amazing. <laughs> it's just crazy when you feel, you realize like nothing can define you besides yourself. Okay. And so that thought comes up and I want to say too, that they're called automatic thoughts. We start to have these automatic thoughts that come up um, in our head. Like when something happens that like, again, losing the, or not losing the job, but not getting picked for the interview position or whatever for the new job. Suddenly this, this thought, the first thought that comes up, and a lot of times it's our, we, it can be our intuition, that first thing that comes up, or um, it's from our past experiences. It's from, we're tied to the things that we um know have happened to us before. And so I, I, my mind is going to the CBT thing, which is cognitive behavioral therapy, where the model is your core beliefs and then your thoughts create your feelings, your feelings create your actions. And we've talked about this, right? I'm actually gonna, here, I'll go ahead and do this. So this is the, the CBT wheel. Okay. Right here's the core beliefs. I'll just go ahead and write it out. Core beliefs. 
And then up here we have our feelings. And then our thoughts. And then our actions. And these are what create our core beliefs, okay? So our thoughts, the feelings, the feelings, the actions. And then that is what creates our core belief. And so anytime we want to, we want a different result or we want to feel different, what do we do? We change our thought. That changes our feeling, which changes our action, which changes the core belief. Because we, we create new beliefs by finding evidence of new things, right? Of the thing that we want to believe, okay? And so the first thing, detach from the thought, even defining who you are. The second thing is to... When you get that thought, that automatic thought that comes up, ask yourself, is it true? Okay? So I didn't I didn't get the job, so I suck. I suck at life. <laughs> I'm not as good at that job as the person who got hired. Is that true? No, it's not true. Okay? It's not. It's just that the hiring um, manager was looking for something specific and I maybe didn't have it. Doesn't mean that I'm not worthy of whatever, right? But that's what you have to come, you have to take all of the emotion out of it. And that's what you do when you detach from that thought defining you. So when you have these, this negative self-talk, it's an automatic thought that comes up. And you don't want to fight them. You don't want to fight these negative thoughts. Like you don't want to immediately be like, you know, your mind says, I, I suck, I'm a piece of shit, I can't, you know, I can't get this job, I can't, I can't provide for my kids. And then you just go down that thought, like, it's like a you know, like the snowball that just collects as it goes down and you just get bigger and bigger and bigger and these negative thoughts are just more negative, negative, negative. You stop it, first of all, by, is that really true? Like you're interrupting it. Or another thing that ha um, helps is it's called pattern interrupt. And this is um, an, an NLP technique where when you're thinking these negative thoughts and then all of a sudden you just think, oh my gosh, a pink elephant. I saw a pink elephant going down the road. <laughs> like completely a different a different train of thought. Like you just interrupted that pattern of the negative thought pattern. You interrupted it with something completely. It's called breaking state, okay? So I'm teaching you some NLP stuff here, all right? It's pretty cool. Um, and then the third thing is to be aware of them. So you're aware of it or else you wouldn't be here. You're aware that you have the power to change the way you think or else you would not be watching this live or you would not be in this. And if you didn't know, you know now, okay, that you have all the power in the world to control the way you think, the way that you feel and the way that you act. You have the control. It is not anyone else's. You control your emotions, okay? Just as you control your energy. Um, you can control it. Now, you can allow others to control it as well if you want to, but that's what we're completely trying to get you out of, okay? And so, one, detach from it. Two, ask, is it true? And three, intervene it, inter, inter, intercept it with something that has nothing to do with the thing. Even bringing, like, humor into the situation, bring playfulness into the, into the moment that you would think those, those thoughts. Um, for me, when it comes to washing the dishes, okay, actually just right now when David got home, I had not got to the point, got to the front of the house to pick up the living room. And when I got, when I went out there, he's like picking things up and I'm like, oh yeah, sorry, I haven't gotten out here yet. And I immediately in my head, I was like, oh my God, I suck at taking care of my house. Like, I don't know, just like little thoughts, like those automatic thoughts are coming in and I stopped and I was like, hold up. No, is that really true? No, it's not. Like, which is, this is what brought me to, to do this live is because I stop, I shift and I call it shifting. We're not stopping because if we stop a thought or we fight back right then, if we say, if you say, you know, I'm not a good mom, and then you say an affirmation or whatever right after that, and it's like, yeah, I am a good mom, you're not going to believe yourself. Not not right then. It's going to take a little bit. You want to shift gradually into more empowering thoughts. Um, again, these are automatic thoughts. So they're coming from your your past, your, your the things that have happened in the past that you tie to things happening in the future. And so you have to gradually, consistently work on this. This is why this work is so important. And I really want to hear your thoughts on this. What have you done about your negative self-talk? And I'm. this is only like grazing the surface here. These are just some very superficial um, tips that helped me as far as interrupting the negative thought of, of just 
of shifting that thought and also get down to the core belief. Why do you, why do you believe that? If, if it is true for you, why do you believe that? It also helps you figure out your core beliefs, your core values, the, the things that you construct your reality or see your, your reality through. You can think of them as like glasses um, that you have on and you see reality through these glasses of your values and beliefs, the ones that you create your reality from. So that's really what's happening. Like your thoughts are information. Again, just like emotions, and this is really going to help you um, separate from, from attaching and defining yourself so much by your emotional state is if you look at it as information. Look at your thoughts as information because all the thoughts you're having right now, that is a reflection of, of who you were yesterday, you know, or who you have been. The only way that you can create a more empowering mindset, okay, moving forward, having positive self-talk, telling yourself, like, I'm a fucking badass. <laughs> and I say that to me, get, get conceited, get in love with yourself, fall in love with yourself, know that what you've been through makes you amazing. Not that you suck or you're less than, you are actually like, on top of on top of everything think about the time like also another thing that helps me and I'll add this is like a fourth tip I guess is to think about the moments that you were proud your proudest moments just get into that like what what is one moment in your life that you felt so proud that you, what what's an achievement that you achieved that you were so proud of yourself and I want you to sit in that energy for as long as you want to, because what's going to happen is your physiology is going to change. And that is where it starts. Your physiology, when you stand up and put your, put your, you know, have a, a straight posture, you put your hands on your hips, that power or that superwoman pose that absolutely helps you feel more confident. And actually scientifically on a scientific level, it does help you Raise, it helps raise your vibration and helps you feel more confident and more ready and more certain. It's certainty. That's what it is. Because the reason that we don't talk good to ourselves, we don't have positive self-talk at first, is that because we're not certain, right? When we're in that frame of mind, like I don't have a lot of negative self-talk anymore um, because I've been working on it so much. But and I also catch it. I catch it before it can get really bad because that's what leads us to depression and anxiety and stress is when we don't stop those thoughts, okay? So um, so anyway, I keep going. You guys know that I can't. So one, just detach from that thought meaning anything about you. It's not defining you. And then um, two, ask, is it true? Is this thought that just popped up, this automatic thought that you didn't even think about thinking, it just came up, is it true? No, it's not true. It's not true. And so then after that, break the state. Break that pattern, that thought pattern of, hey, there's a pink elephant coming down the road. Or, hey, I wonder what I'm going to eat for lunch today. Just start, just redirect. Redirect your attention. Because again, where your focus goes, energy flows. And that means with thoughts as well. In your mind, when you focus on a thought, that is ener that's energy. That's energy. Thoughts are energy. And so, um, so yeah, and your physiology. So when you can just do those things, and, and I'll put them at the top here like I always do, but just, just stick with those. Do that today. Catch those negative thoughts, ask if it's true, and then break the state, okay? Um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions, and I will um, talk to you guys later. I'll be on tomorrow for the solar plexus at 10 o'clock for the transformation training. And I have a little extra something that I'm going to do. Um, so if you're able to come at 10 o'clock, please come and hang out with me. If not, then you can watch the replay, whatever. Just let me know your questions about the chakras and how this can connect to that. Like I'm really trying to weave my work in with energy work and mindset work is that when you do this, when you catch your thoughts, you are raising your vibration. You're healing on an energetic level when you shift to more positive thoughts. I mean, you're doing something on a cellular level, literally to your DNA, down to the cells. You are healing. This is healing work that you're doing. It's not something to take lightly, okay? Um, 
I have another, I have some more stuff I want to talk about with the sacral, but I'll do another live because it doesn't go along with this really, but it just kind of ties into you being great, graceful with yourself and knowing that it's okay to, to, um, question yourself. <laughs> really? It's okay to detach and then question, like it, question, is that true? Like, I guess that's the biggest thing that's ever helped me is when I finally start questioning my thoughts and questioning my beliefs, like, are these really true? And so I, I just really suggest that you do that today is to start asking yourself, like, what is really true for me? So, all right, guys, I love you. I'll talk to you tomorrow morning. Bye.